Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Webster. Yep, back with an intro that I made in Sony Vegas Pro 10. And it's been a while since my last intro tutorial, so I might be a little rustier. But this does work for Sony Vegas Pro 9. It works for both of them, so you're welcome. But yeah, so let's see what we're going to be making today. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys liked it. It's pretty sweet. Um, here it is right here, the finished product. Uh, as you see, it, it's only a few transitions, really. And that's pretty much it in one effect. And it's very simple, pretty easy. So let's learn how to make it. So let me just open up a new document. So first thing you want to do is insert a video track. And what I did was I went to Google and I searched free or uh, cool intro backgrounds. Sorry, Google Images. And then I just took this blue one, but you can take like this one looks pretty sick. Eh, awesome. So just pick one, whatever one you want, or if you guys have a picture you want to use, go ahead and use it. So you want to go ahead and put that picture in there. Just let me get mine up. Oh, man. Come here. Oh, God. It froze, guys. It froze. Okay, sorry about that. It froze up on me there, but I got it fixed. So, once you get your blue picture in here, you want to right-click it and go to Properties and uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio. That way, it's widescreen and will take up the entire YouTube box. And then, you want to insert another video track and insert some text and type whatever you want. And select whatever text you want. It does not matter. Oh, sorry, you don't want to exit out of that right away. You want to go to Effects, Draw Outline, and Draw Shadow. On the shadow, you want to feather it out all the way. And then you are done right there. Now, this part is where the uh, like the shaking in and out effect is. It's the Event Pan and Crop. It's really simple, pretty, uh, pretty much. So the very first frame, just move your little box, zoom in on it. And then move your frame up not too far. Move it up like a few frames. Don't move it up very far. And you're going to have to do this till the end of the clip, which sounds very, very long and tough. But I will teach you, whoops, I will teach you a way to fix that so you don't have to spend like an hour just doing the same thing over and over again. So once you get about six uh, movements in, just go ahead and highlight all of those and right click and go to copy. And now just paste them all in there until the end of the video. This will save you like 30 minutes of nothing but pasting and stuff. So that's it. That's what you have to do for that video. So if we watch it, it's shaking. I think this would look awesome with a heartbeat sound. And then you're done with that one. Now... You want to insert another video track and insert some more text. And this one, you want to type presents or whatever you guys want. Uh, change the font to, again, whatever you guys would appreciate. And then do the exact same thing in effects. Draw outline and then draw shadow and feather it out all the way. <clears throat> and do the exact same thing you just did for the Webster. Now, this one, you don't even have to start with the event, event pattern crop. You can just go ahead and paste them all in there. So this saves you like another 10 minutes of just getting the first six down. So boom. I'm sorry, if it takes you 10 minutes to just put down six of these keyframes, that's pretty bad. But there you go. I just did that in less than like 30 seconds. Now, if you watch it, it looks kind of stupid just going from Webster oh, to Presents. So we I added some transitions. Now, you have to... I... And, I uh -huh, uh -oh. I inserted the cubes transition, which you, which Sony Vegas Pro 10 or 9 does not just come with it. You have to download it. So what you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description 
and you it'll bring you to a page like this and just scroll down and it will be the third effect scott's sm cubes go ahead and download that man i just got the dirtiest picture in my mind scott's cubes ew ew so just go ahead and download that and you'll get that transition so then just add that to the first or add that to the webster part and you don't have to mess with thing just exit out now again it does that doesn't look good going from that and the presents are showing up so go ahead and add the cubes to the presents part and again you don't have to mess with anything that makes it look a little bit better and then at the end of the video you want to add a flash because we all love flashy stuff and then set the horizontal diffusion all the way up and there you go so now if we watch this Dun, 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 dun. Oh, make sure your background is the same length as your text, by the way. My B. Oh, yeah. Now, in my video, you noticed how, or in my intro that I showed you guys earlier, you noticed how the background was, like, lighting up, getting darker, lighting up. It's really simple to do that, so I'm not going to teach you guys, but you want to go to Video Effects, Levels, and then just select one of these ones. I'm not going to teach you because it's very easy to do that. But that's how you make the intro. Um, add whatever sound you want, and there you go. You're ready to get cracking on whatever you want to do. So thanks for watching. Please like this video because it will make me happy. And subscribe.